Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Uh, today is uh, Friday, June 25th, or Saturday, June 26th, if you're in Australia, New Zealand. And uh, I said good morning. It's still the morning, but it's late morning. It's about 11 o'clock here uh, in the morning, maybe a little later than that, almost noon, perhaps. And um, it was raining this morning, so I didn't come out early like I usually do. Um, today the moon is in Capricorn all day. And of course, the Capricorn moon is a moon that is um, very willing to do the work that is necessary. Um, Capricorn likes to be prepared for uh, what's coming. Uh, in fact, Capricorn likes to not just be prepared for what's coming, Capricorn likes to create what's coming to a certain extent. Um, and so we might find ourselves working diligently uh, to do that. Uh, and a broader scheme of things, Neptune, the planet of idealism, the planet of, in certain cases, uh, spirituality, but it can also be the planet of delusion and illusion uh, stations retrograde today at 24 degrees of Pisces. Now, when these uh, outer planets uh, change direction, uh, there's usually some significant thing that occurs. That is almost always true of Pluto and Uranus, the two outer planets besides Neptune. Neptune, however, tends to sometimes work a little bit more subtly, and then at other times, and Neptune is a raging storm. So depending on where you live, you may be experiencing one or the other. Neptune retrograde. Um, you know, Neptune is, is a, I don't want to call it a sneaky planet, <laughs> um, but it's not always easy to discern things with Neptune. So we don't necessarily know how it's sh shifting retrograde uh, is going to, actually manifests itself safe to say that this is an opportunity like most retrogrades to review so perhaps we need to review uh, our idealism perhaps we need to review our connection to spirituality or our spiritual connections perhaps that's a better way of saying it um, Neptune can be associated with religion um, and so in some cases people are um, perhaps questioning having spiritual crises. Uh, and if you're having a spiritual crisis that is not precipitated by Neptune retrograde, which it doesn't mean it has to precipitate a spiritual crisis, uh, this is a time when you can review and, and look within like most, most retrogrades. But as I said, Neptune is pretty out there and pretty subtle. So you have to be a pretty sensitive person to start with to even, to a certain extent, be aware sometimes of Neptune's influence. So I'm bringing you back here because I discovered a hole that I want to show you guys, which sounds crazy, but uh, you see that big hole there? I said to my husband, hey, there's a big hole in the backyard. And he's, yeah, that's probably the groundhog. So there's the groundhog hole. And I bring you back here <laughs> amid um, the, the overgrown um, and very naturalistic area of the yard to show you that hole. Um, because it's kind of... <laughs> um, and there's a lot of mosquitoes, so I'm going to be walking pretty quickly now. Um, because it, we've been actually pretty lucky with the mosquitoes around here. Even though this is a relatively wet area, we do have uh, wetlands behind us. Um, the mosquitoes have actually been pretty, pretty good. But after the soaking we had last night, I think uh, m maybe the mosquitoes are here to stay. Um, but I bring you back into this area of the garden because this is just the nature of Neptune. The nature of Neptune is one of looking in places perhaps that uh, most people say, you know what, it's good, we don't have to, you know, but not in a, in a 
Plutonian way, which of course Pluto digs up every, looks under every rock. Um, thank goodness for Pluto, right? Uh, <laughs> but Neptune is a, is a bit more, is a bit more, uh, is a different energy. It's subtle, but again, it's powerful because Neptune is mass consciousness. And so also when Neptune shifts directions, we can have a shift in mass consciousness. And so I would say, utilize this time. Now, uh, Neptune's going to be retrograde till December 1st, and then it goes direct again. It continues on its way. Um, but this is a time of introspection, uh, but in a different way that the introspection was when Mercury was retrograde, because that that's much more... Um, sort of in our face anyway, Mercury, of course, how we gather information and process information. Um, we bought that Lupin and we, we put it right there. And, um, oh, and then he put the, some yarrow, the little pink over there. He put the yarrow over there yesterday. And uh, now the sun is coming out. So this is the first time the sun came out, but the, uh, the everything is soaking wet. So the humidity is about, which is already hot, I mean, which is already high, is about to go from cool to hot. So very atmospheric. And again, that is a Neptune energy that what is the atmosphere? You know, uh, how do you read the atmosphere? It's all kind of Neptune stuff. So now I'm in the sun. And it's very humid. Yesterday was a beautiful day. It was cool. It was breezy. It was dry as a bone. And just like they say always in New England, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. Just had to wait a half a day. And now it's getting pretty steamy. So on that note, I am going to re retire to a less sunny and less steamy spot in my, in my office. And uh, have yourself a great day like and subscribe you can get a lot done today with that uh that capricorn moon despite all of this neptunian uh talk neptunian talk uh is a little bit more long range the capricorn moon is the here and now and of course that capricorn moon is disposited by saturn in aquarius which is in orb of that square to uranus so big changes on its way folks it's just going to continue and there, if you have felt somewhat despondent over the fact that things aren't changing fast enough in the direction, um, in the more progressive direction, hold on to your hats, guys. Things are changing. Uh, hold people accountable uh, if they're not changing enough, I guess. Oh, that was a, that was a, a uh, hummingbird that just flew past, always go into the feeder having a drink um so that's where we stand guys a uh, lot done today a lot of change coming and uh when in doubt look within take care much love